So in the early videos in this playlist, we talked about how to bring in a Salesforce report, how to bring in Salesforce objects into Power BI, and then how to build the uh, relationships between them. Uh, and take a look in the notes. There's, there's links there to those. Now what I want to do is to bring in a new uh, object, uh, a, the contact record. And uh, I could go here because I've already you know, done the get data, so that makes it easy. And then entering contact will get me the contact record. I can select it here. Uh, I can see that I have many, many uh, fields in that. So rather than loading, I'm going to transform it. That brings up the Power Query Editor. You can see these are the other uh, data, uh, data tables that we've pulled in. Um, so we're now looking at contact and uh, we have 215 columns. So what I want to do is to manage my columns and choose the columns I want to bring in. So I can select all and then I can say I want to bring in the ID, I want to bring in last name, first name, salutation, and uh, how about record type? And say all right that's what I want to bring. The rest of it I'm just going to exclude. So I've removed the other columns. But if I say I actually want to change that, what I want to do is to add in I've got an account ID, it's going to get me to there. What I want to bring in is something called a household ID. Uh, and so uh, there's a, there's plenty of nonprofits, but also this, this um, uh, you know, client household selection here that for certain. So I'm going to bring that in, say, okay. And what that does is if I scroll to the right now, you'll see that I now have the client household link as well. So that's really just a type of an account. Um, and then... Uh, what I have is these null values, and if I want to reduce, re, you know, remove those, I can conceptually reduce. But what that does is it uh, it allows me to remove top, bottom, duplicates, blanks. So it's really at the macro level. What I want to do is just to work on this column. So I'm going to select it here, and I'm going to say take out the nulls. So I'm going to text filter. And I could I could do a, a smarter filter, right? But at this case, it's a it's a basic filter, so I can just say take away my nulls, and say OK here. Brings the data set down. I also see that I want to kind of remove these, and clicking here, I I remove empty. Uh, but what I can do is to right click, and then you can see I get a whole bunch of options here to play with. So I'm going to remove it here. And what's different though is when I remove a column, I don't get the option of going back in and editing it again. Uh, but what I can do is I could remove it. So if I wanted to, I could, uh, I could bring that back. So I'm gonna gonna look here and say, okay, so those are my removed columns. Uh, I could, uh, you know, exit here, and what it's gonna do is to bring back salutation. But let me go on ahead and remove it for so we don't have it there. And then what I'm going to do is to close. And oh, I wanted to show you this one too. Um, the uh, you can uh, merge queries, which really is about merging columns, and you can append queries, which is adding rows. This is a way to get around the 2,000 row limit because what you can do is to pull in subsets and then just append those queries. Okay, so let's uh, close and apply, and let's see what happens. So I now have a, a contact data table, and it's going to show me that I've got just a few fields rather than the 200 and whatever that we had. Uh, if I click on Manage Relationships, and I look and see, did it create any relationships? No, it didn't, but I had all those IDs, so I could go on ahead and build out new hierarchies to connect there. Um, the other thing that I can do is, is I can always go back, and if I'm, let me go back to my Home tab, and if I click on, if I click on the transform data, what it does, it takes me back into the Power Query editor, and I could, in effect, go to my contact record again, and I could add additional filters if I wanted to. So I could add back in fields if I needed to. So this whole process is actually quite you know, kind of easy to be able to manage because you don't have to, it's not a, it's not a final process. So good luck uh, transforming your Salesforce uh, data and uh, thanks for watching.